Okay, sorry about the mess, but this was a nasty project. I'm going to show it. This is a universal motor. Okay, the rotor and the stator. Okay, I tapped the commutator with 24 wires because there's 24 contacts. Okay, the idea is to rotate the brushes. So the brushes rotate, creating a rotating magnetic field in the armature without it spinning. Then use the stator or the field coils as the stator to pick up an energy and see what we get. See if we could increase output with speed. Okay, so that's with frequency, with no physical rotation. Now, um, these are H bridges that are connecting the commutator on one side and the other side. Then it goes to the next and then it drops the first. It goes to the next and drops the first. It goes to the next, drops the first. And it goes all the way around. So at one point, this one will be uh, positive, that'll be negative. At another point, this will be negative, that'll be positive because it's a full rotating magnetic field. Now, I knew it was going to be a little choppy because it's not smooth. It's, uh, you know, connecting two coils and then dropping one. And it's connecting more resistance, less resistance, drop it, you know. It never disconnects the circuit, but it's choppy. It's not smooth. I know how to make it smooth, and I need to make it smooth. But I don't know, because it's going to require a lot more switching. Yeah, it's going to require a lot more. And I'm already maxed out on my Arduino. Mega. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the oscilloscope, which is hooked up to the output of the field coils which is our stator okay on the input I don't want to run too much current through my H bridges they could take it but we want to moderate it down so I have the input going through an 8 ohm resistor so I'm going to be showing the current that it's drawing and you could calculate how much power how many watts are being wasted through the resistor and count that into the efficiency because that's not going into the um, virtually rotating motor okay then we're going to measure output open circuit voltage closed circuit amperage shorted and we're going to introduce a load and do it again and then we're going to increase frequency and lower frequency so you can see what happens here with virtual rotation so let's start up the supply Okay. Do you hear it? Okay, so the supply is pulling 1.035 amps at 14 volts. So about an amp. So that's an 8 ohm resistor. So we have 8 watts, roughly, burning right now through a resistor before it even gets into here to keep the amperage at a reasonable level. Now remember before I said it's going to be a choppy looking wave. And there it is. Uh, I got this in a bad spot. Let's see how choppy it is. Now. But when you zoom out, it is kind of making a sine wave. It'll get better when we increase speed. I got this very slow right now. Anyway, we're doing 6 volts VRMS open circuit so let's put the multimeter on there to verify that the multimeter reads equivalent or close okay what we're gonna do is turn the multimeter to alternating volts and we got six volts okay so you're talking point two Volts difference between what the scope is reading and what the multimeter is reading. Okay, now we're going to turn this to amps and we're going to turn it to AC amps, close the circuit. We have 158 milliamps. Okay, and the input power 
stays the same, shorted. Now, that's at 10,000 microseconds. Okay, I'm going to drop this to 5,000 microseconds. So we're going to substantially increase the rotation speed. Five, and let's upload it to the Arduino. Okay, here's what we were at, 158. Watch, okay. Now we're at 158 again. So, we did not, oh, look at that, it's still at 10,000. So that was my bad, 5,000. Okay, now it replaced, let's upload it. Now wait till this amperage drops, 158. Okay, now we're up to 212. So increase of speed brought it from 0.158 to 212 milliamps. An increase with speed. Now, remember we were at 6 volts before, right? We're going to go to volts. And we're going to go to... AC volts. Now we're at 660. We increased voltage and current coming out. Now let's take a look at the scope. The scope is starting to look a little more like a wave. But we're going to get there. Now let's look at input 10, 1 amp, 0.35. Exact same. No change in the input amperage by increasing speed but we got more current out and more voltage out open circuit and shorted now let's do one more let's go from 5,000 micro seconds to 1,000 okay which is one millisecond in between um, contacts fine 5,000, we're going to go to 1,000. Okay, now before I upload this, we're at 659. Let's just say 660 for easier remembering, which we'll forget because that's how we roll. And amperage is 212 milliamps. Now I'm going to upload. Upload it. You could hear the rotation in there. Okay, it's off. Now, 304 milliamps. The output current increased more when we brought the speed up. Again, amperage going in is actually a little lower than it was before, but yet we're getting more current out now. Now let's check voltage. We're gonna flip this back to volts. Sorry, this is all one hand. Look at that. We're at nine volts. Ooh, now look at this. Now because we're getting up to speed, we're starting to look more like a sine wave. You see how the sine wave's starting to show out? When I keep going up, this sine wave gets a little cleaner and cleaner but it's still got that chop. But now it's inducing like virtual rotation, like rotation, because our voltage is going up with speed, our current is going up with speed, and our input is staying steady. Now remember, we have a resistor there taking about eight watts. That's not even going into this motor. Okay, so now let's do the same test with a load, not short circuit, not open circuit but with a load. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the multimeter onto the resistor, and we're gonna get a jumper. We're gonna jump off the resistor and go into the other side of the upper coil. It's not that great of a connection. Now, we're going to go to amps, because that's how this is set up right now. AC amps, 
226 amps going through an 8 ohm resistor. Okay, now we're going to measure voltage going through this resistor while it's closed. So what we're going to do is put this multimeter lead here. I'm going to take this, put it over to AC volts. Now we're going to connect the other side of the resistor to this output lead here. Okay. 1.823 volts going through the resistor. Okay. Input. 1 amp. Point oh, 1.03 amps. So basically, whatever we do, we can't get this thing to draw more current. It's not drawing more current. Okay. So going through the resistor as a load, we have 1.823 volts. Now, let's lower the speed back to 5,000 because we're at 1,000 now. Now we're going to back the speed off. Remember, we were at 1.823 volts. Find. Now we're going to go at 5,000. You'll have to excuse the video because I'm reaching all over the place and we're going to upload it. Here's what it was at. 1.822. Now look. 0.988. Slower speeds, less voltage going through the resistor. Slower speeds. Current, roughly the same. Went up a little bit. Okay, now you could calculate how much amperage is going through this because this is an 8 ohm resistor. Okay, now let's go for the gusto. Let's, instead of 1000, let's do this 500, millisecond, uh, 500 microseconds. So it's going to go double as quick as we've done it so far. Actually, we can just delete a zero. 500 milliseconds. Upload this. Remember, 0.986. Oh. I know. Uh, it didn't go. Let me hit upload. Upload. 986. Two volts. Okay. Now we're going faster than we have yet. And we're going two volts. Amperage is the same. Amperage barely changes no matter what speed we go. The quicker we go, the more power goes to the load. The slower we go, the less power goes to the load. Not only voltage, but current also because this is a resistive load that follows Ohm's law. So if you want to know how much current is going through here, you work out Ohm's law with the amount of voltage going through there. Now, here's my wave. Now we're looking much better how I want to look, but not exactly where I want to be at them yet. But anyway, that is what we got going on. Visit the forum, mooker.com, to see more and to follow along.